Bossy McClue's Hogmanay Bash. And I thought today I might start doing little voiceovers for people, just personal things for a small consideration. If you see what I mean, to pay for some advertising. There we are wrong, says Fraser. Fraser, how could it possibly be wrong? You said a plane goes down and everyone dies, but four survive. So there's a contradiction in terms for the start. If everyone dies, how can four survive? You see? So there we are. Every, agree everyone knows Scotty? Absolutely, Jackie. It's just what you'd call an occupational hazard. Do you want the answer, Scotty? No, not yet, Fraser. Keep with us. I'd pay up to £50 for a private message from McClue, Flying Norseman. Um, I hadn't meant to uh, mention any prices live on air, but if we took £50 as a kind of standard, £50, $50, and uh, we went on that basis, I wouldn't see a problem. So there you are. So I don't want to give myself away here. But uh, if you'd pay up to £50, then we could look at around £50, maybe a bit less for deserving people. There we are. I would say more people know you. Hashtag float high. Mbongo, that's very good. But I, I'm happy with two billion people knowing me. If they all turned up on the one night and paid a fiver, that would be £10 billion to McClue. Uh, there we are. Two couples survived. All the single people died. Well, Fraser, how silly is that? You said everybody died. Or oh, every single person died. Did you say that, though? Let's just go back. Let's go back. A plane goes down and everyone dies but four survive how? So, Fraser... You didn't ask the question properly. Your question should have been, a plane goes down and every single person dies, but four survive because they're married. Yes. So I'm afraid you're at fault there. There we are. Guys, would you pay £50 for a private message from McClue? Um, hello, my dad says you're brilliant, slide chancel. How very, very kind of you, and a big dinky-doo to you. You're brilliant. Dinky-doo. Sorry, Scotty. No, no, Fraser, fine. 50 quid to listen to you. Absolutely, says Les Mis. Good for you, Les Mis. Um, hi, Scotty. I've returned. How are you? Fantastic. No problem at all. Uh, I'll do a voiceover for £40 pounds, uh, for Scotty McClure. Oh, right. We might rent you out for 50. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Kian, a lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome, I say. Now, who have we got here? Here's Joey Pye and Michael. Fantastic. Phenomenal to have so many beautiful people with us tonight. Uh, so there you go. So what should Scotty McClure charge for a private message? Say you're... I don't know your answer phone message or something like that. A flying Norseman, one message for fifty pounds, two for seventy-five pounds, or ten for four hundred. Wow, what about that? Yes. Now there you go. Ten messages for four hundred pounds, flying Norseman. Yes. You're talking sense. I think I might make you my manager. Uh, Scotty, they would dance on the streets of Wraith for you. Jackie. I actually believe they would. Beautiful people. Uh, Scotty, that's cheap. Should be a hundred and more if it's recorded. Well, Kareem, yes, if we were doing a narrative for somebody, we'd maybe charge between a hundred and five hundred for, say, reading a book or something like that. Do you know what? But just for a message for people's answer phones, what we might even do is shout it out live. They tell us they're recording and then they can pop something into PayPal. Uh, preserve, uh, I mean, uh, that's if you could trust people not to do a run out. Hi, Scotty, thank you, do my man. Fantastic. Hello, Mitzi. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. This is just a privilege. Guys, have you followed me? If you haven't followed Scotty McClue, let me sip some Scottish water while we have a follow fest. All right. What time do you get up in the morning, Scotty? I presume you're a man of leisure. Flying Nosman, I am. 
five o'clock every morning. 